YouTube, what's going on, baby? It's your boy Ron Real, aka Double R, back in the building, back with another video, back with another damn banger. Today, we're going to be reviewing a special limited cigar by Steve Saka and them over at Dunbarton Tobacco and Trust. We're going to be looking at the frog juice. I've been sitting on this for a couple of months. Really, really excited to review this cigar. I got this question a lot Ron, why don't you review any Dunbarton Tobacco and Trust cigars? You must not like Steve Saka. I don't know where that came from, man, but you guys automatically should know I only review cigars that I like. There are some cigars in his portfolio I do like that I will get around to reviewing at some point. I don't like all of them, but that's the name of the game. I don't like a lot of cigars from everybody, so it is what it is. I have not had experience smoking this one, unfortunately, to tell you if I like it or not already, but it's limited. I want to review it. Some of you guys out there have your hands on it and want to know what this is about, so y'all hang tight, stay tuned. Y'all know we're going to get at it. All right, so we're, today we're gonna look at this Frog Juice by Dunbarton Tobacco and Trust. First cigar review by Steve Saka, so really looking forward to this one. This so happens to be a limited release. There was only 250 bundles of this made. This cigar retails for $12.50, and it came in bundles of 10 for $125 a bundle. Now, this has a Ecuadorian Habano 2000 wrapper. It has a Nicaraguan binder, Nicaraguan and Dominican filler, considered a box box press robusto which comes in at a five inch long body 52 ring gauge so really looking forward to this this is a very gorgeous cigar has a colita on the top of it as they call it which literally translate into little tail so it does just have a little tail to it but this is a very pretty cigar has a very nice sheen to it tight invisible seams has a slight tooth to it and it has some veins but Cannot take away from the aesthetics of this cigar. This might be one of the nice cigars I've, I've looked at this year. Just aesthetically pleasing. I actually even like the band too. The only thing I don't like about it is that it's harder to photograph or do B-roll with because frog juice wraps around the whole band. So you have to do a, a twist to see the whole thing. Or if you're taking pictures from the front of the cigar, you're not going to be able to see the whole frog juice word. So that's just a little gripe of mine. It's not even really a big deal. But just, you know, some or some bands will have holographic or flash uh, flashiness to them or silver coloring i know like thinking off the top of my head the casa fernandez miami series will have it gorgeous looking cigars it's just very hard to photograph or video these uh cigars because of the band so without further ado we're gonna go straight into battle baby we're gonna cut this up and see what we think about it able to cut the cut the tail off i'll probably get some b-roll of this so you can see it a little bit better Again, I tell you guys, don't shortchange yourselves on nice cutters, man. Get you a nice cutter. It makes all the difference in the world. Perfect, perfect draw. Good, good amount of resistance to it. A little pepper, a little, little chocolate fudge I get all the time. Maybe a little bit of cedar in there too. All right, I'm gonna light it up and see what we got. So, speaking of uh, Dunbarton Tobacco and Trust and Steve Saka, a lot of people think that because I haven't reviewed a cigar of his by, you know, in a year or so, that I'm not a fan of his cigars, which is completely not true. I am a huge fan of the Todos Los Dias Thick Lonsdale. I love the Sin Compromiso number five. Uh, there's a couple other ones that I'm a fan of as well, too. I just haven't got around to them. There's, there's some other brands that I haven't review cigars of theirs yet either so just because i'm not reviewing certain cigars doesn't mean that i don't like the brand or the owner or anything steve has done nothing to me personally i think he's a a, a great guy and to be honest i kind of want to i'm not necessarily as in starting my own company or brand but him becoming a blender and not having any kind of lineage or family involved in the tobacco industry is a good prime example of what i'm trying to get myself to so i feel like he's one of the the uh father the uh, fathers of of getting into the industry without having any kind of family background or any kind of lineage most of the time you look at like the Perdermos, the padrones the fuentes just pretty much anybody aj fernandez people like that they usually their fathers their grandfathers had, were in the tobacco industry so for steve to jump in and not have anything like that and still become as, as successful as he is that lets me know that i could do the same thing and i don't care what anybody says i know i'm going to be a blender so it is what it is.
Getting a nice earth on it. A little bit of a black pepper probably coming in around a six or so. Good smoke I put on this thing too. So I'm picking up brown sugar, a little earth, a little brown sugar. A little bit of a cracker quality coming on that finish. So we'll keep on smoking, let this first third get heated up. I'll come back and give you an update on body flavor strength, you know all that good stuff. So y'all hang tight and stay tuned. All right, so we're working our way through this first third. Got a little thunder going on. Yeah, so we're working, I'm working our way through this first third. A lot of that brown sugar sweetness that was directly prominent in the first part has died down. There's still some there. I would say right now though, you're getting mostly a little bit of an oak wood. Still got kind of got that bread cracker kind of quality to it. The sweetness is still definitely there, it's just died down. Still getting a little pepper. Smoke is pouring off the foot, nice dense smoke. I would say right now the body and flavor is still at that low side or is at that low side of medium to full. I'm gonna say the strength right now is a medium but not very much strength is really being detected at the moment right now. Burn line hasn't been razor sharp but I don't think I'm gonna have to do any touch ups or relights or anything. Draw has been perfect. Perfect amount of resistance to it. So far it's an enjoyable cigar, I'm, I'm, I'm digging it so far. I wish that the I hope that the brown sugar or some form of sweetness kind of can come back in and play with those wood notes and that pepper and kind of get some creaminess in there to kind of develop a little bit more. So we still got quite a bit of cigar left. Still is a lot left in the game, a lot of time left in the game. So we'll see what happens, but just wanted to give you a quick update. So definitely I would say low side of medium to full for body and flavor. Strength is a medium. The only big shift so far has been the brown sugar and the spices kind of the black pepper spices died down and so has the brown sugar sweetness but still a very enjoyable cigar so far so we'll keep on smoking and get through the back side of this first third come up through the second third and see what we got so y'all hang tight and stay tuned all right so we're working our way through the second third still a lot of the same flavors for me the black pepper is still definitely there the brown sugar has died off even more. I would say it's kind of shifted more towards a natural tobacco sweetness, but it's very, very faint now. What I'm having a problem with right now is the texture of the smoke where it was nice and dense in the beginning. It feels like right now it's become, almost if you take if you take a, a stick of chalk and rub it across your fingers, that's how it feels in my mouth. It's very chalky and drying, which is not I'm not a very big fan of right now. Hope that doesn't last. It just kind of took over in this past five or six draws where it's just become very dry and very chalky. And the lack of the lack of sweetness and creaminess kind of in it has kind of hurt that and kind of accentuated the chalkiness even more, made it a little bit more severe. But the performance has still been great. Draw is perfect. Construction is right on point. Still a lot of wood. Still very bready, cracker quality kind of is. Like I said, right now it's not terrible. The only thing that's kind of throwing me off is just the texture of the smoke. Still would say medium to full on body and flavor. Strength still is a medium for me right now too. No nicotine bomb, not, get, not getting nauseated or not feeling sick or anything like that. But other than that, nothing else to really report back. So we're gonna keep on smoking, see if anything else changes. So y'all hang tight and stay tuned. All right, so we're working our way through the second third. Good news, the chalky flavor has kind of gone away. Brown sugar and some cinnamon has kind of finally started coming back, showing its face, which is really nice for the blend. Overall, I'm gonna still say medium to full on everything now. The strength is kind of slowly crept up to the medium to full as well. The body and flavor is still at that medium to full mark. Still nice, good smoke production. Nice, easy, fluent draw. For me at the moment, it's a good cigar. It's not a great cigar, but you know, uh, sometimes that's the way it is. Everybody's palate's a little different. Somebody might grab this and think this is phenomenal. But for me, it's just an average. It's a good cigar. Uh, nothing I'm gonna com I, nothing I would commit to a bundle of 10 or even a five pack. This is probably something that if I saw it around, I would grab one or two and just have those in the humidor just to kind of smoke them. Would really like to see what age would do to this cigar as well or this blend as well. But just not enough complexity for me personally, not enough sweetness to help bring out the other flavor notes of the pepper, a little bit of the faint wood. You're still getting some nice brown sugar and cinnamon in there, but it's just not intense enough to kind of swoosh around and, and get that flavor profile really jumping. 
but no complaints construction wise it's been a good cigar i can't say that this is a bad cigar it's a good cigar just not a great cigar for me but we're gonna smoke through the rest of this see if anything else changes come back give you some points so y'all hang tight and stay tuned All right, coming back a little prematurely, the chalky flavor is kind of slowly starting to come back in too. So I think I'm gonna end it here. I'm just not a fan of that chalky texture. So I'm not gonna keep on smoking. Again, don't think it's a bad cigar. This might be one of those cigars too that do better or they might need to age a little bit longer and come back and smoke it again in six months or so and see what I think of it. So for the flavor, I gave it a 15 out of 20. <clears throat> pretty pretty average profile for me. Nothing, nothing too out of the ordinary. The performance on this thing was great though from start to finish so the draw and the burn both got a 20 each 20 out of 20 gave the complexity of 15 out of 20 again not super complex for me but it was some nice flavors in there just wish that the intensity would have been a little bit more some creaminess or some sweetness probably would have helped bring this blend alive in my personal opinion and i gave the strength a 16 out of 20. everything still ended around that medium to full mark for me so just so you know Nothing you need to worry about as far as like, oh, I know it's a Steve Sockler cigar, so I might get sick there too strong. This one's not that bad at all. Overall score on this was going to be 86 out of 100, which I can completely agree with, feel fair scoring it at that. Good cigar, just not a great cigar for me. I feel like Steve, a lot of Steve Sockler's regular lineup is better than this cigar. Totus Las Diaz, Sin Compromiso, uh, Sober Mesa, Brulee, some other ones that I would much rather pick up, even at a higher, or actually this is 12.50, so about the same price point as some of those other ones some of them might be actually a little bit cheaper i would much great i would grab those at a much quicker rate than i would this one but all in all not a bad one still have a, a couple other or still have a couple other dunbarton tobacco and trust cigars have to slow down and say that so i don't get jumbled up that uh, are in the humidor so i can review those thank you guys again for tuning in if you have the frog juice you guys smoke it let me know what you think about it y'all know the name of the game is relaxation and enjoyment and don't forget to be driven never motivated Catch you on the next one. Peace.